I don't like to be an alarmist. I really don't. Those days of uh, my hardcore activism are kind of way behind me. But uh, when I see what's going on, I've got to speak up on this because I think it's a real concern. And I want my viewers and the people I care about and love to take this serious. Um, I have been warning you guys about how there's like a perfect storm of of a food shortage that's coming. Everybody's worried about the virus. And I keep saying, you know, this virus will come and go pretty quick, uh, but the economic repercussions are going to be like you haven't seen in a long, long time. And the first thing that's going to be hits the food supply. Now, what's going on is, I kept saying, you know, there's farmers out there who are being told to stop growing. And our borders are being shut down and they're not allowing stuff to come in. So most of our food comes in from overseas and the countries that send us food are concerned about their own countries and they're like, maybe we shouldn't be shipping all this out. Let's keep some food. And so I think there's going to be a disruption of what's coming in. And I've been telling people to stock up on rice, beans, uh, staples, you know, corn, uh, things that last a long time while you can get it. That being said, uh, I'm going to take you around because, you know, I, for 10 years I've been telling you to grow, just try gardening. It's fun, it's relaxing, but now it's gotten to the point where people are very interested in growing their own food for security. And I'm doing a series, I, I did an emergency potato garden, um, you can check that video out. And I, I've done this series, but what I'm going to show you is some examples of what's going on around the country where... You know, there's kind of some pretty disturbing red flags going up. So I live in New Hampshire. And I kept saying, you know, get your seeds while you can. And what's happening is in some states, lawn and garden are considered non-essential and they're shutting it out. So right next door in Vermont, like the Walmarts um, and the other stores are not allowed to sell seeds, even though they're sitting on... Right there in the store, there's a rope and a sign that says they're not allowed to sell them to you. And you should go buy them online. And I guess that is so they're trying to control people coming in and, and spreading this uh, disease. But, you know, a lot of it, too, is it's this is a lot to do about fear. I'm just going to call this thing the fear-demic because it's not the reality of what's really going on out there. What's happening, though, is... Um, during this is is you can't get seeds anymore now for you beginning gardeners a lot of people who watch this channel are beginning gardeners I'm telling you not to even screw with seeds because it takes a lot of practice to get seeds to actually germinate well and you kinda gotta know what you're doing a little better but it's also a good idea to get some just hey if you have to you have them and you'll learn how to do it if you have access you know believe it or not Walmart's still getting in plants but if they're lawn and gardens are going to be closed they're probably going to stop ordering that stuff so that's just only happened in a few states like missouri i have a friend in missouri that said the same thing happened to her in howard county i believe it's called put that up there um there's there's a uh, i think uh, some other states are starting to do this so the problem is this when you go online and check the seeds are all out of stock so you go and and either Walmart hasn't put them in yet, or they've already been bought out. And I kind of think they've probably been bought out. Because if you go to somewhere like uh, Rare Seeds, I buy a lot of my seeds from them for years. And you go on their website, they have a notice saying they can't keep up with the orders and they're just shutting down their website for a while. And so you can't order seeds easily anymore or get them. Now I will give you some, um, some advice. You can still find them, I found them at Agway like um, in small mom and pop uh, small mom and pop stores seem to have them still the hardware stores but who knows how long they're gonna consider those okay they might be like oh those are not essential either I I'm surprised to even see it and hopefully it doesn't come to your state but just be aware that these signs are happening also you're looking at farmers who are literally throwing out their crops like this guy's a um, one of the country's best onion farmers and he's standing in front of piles of rotting onions that he can't ship because a lot of the onions and stuff they sold were to restaurants and now all the restaurants are shut down so they're just like not 
growing anymore. They're like, I can't, you know, they took such a loss on that. They can't afford to grow again. And they missed that season. And you got to remember, a lot of these seeds, if you're starting from seeds, a lot of this stuff is very seasonal. You have to put it in the exact right time. You have to start it. And if they disrupt that chain where, okay, you know, you can't get these seeds for a month or two, you've missed a window. You know, sorry. What good is getting these seeds three months late? So that's a problem. I'm going to warn you guys to go to the mom and pops, start picking them up. I think you can still get the ghetto seeds at like the Dollar General and that sort of stuff. They'll work. Most of the, here's the thing. Most of the seeds are from the exact same places. They just put different labels on them. So like the same stuff you see at Walmart is going to be the same exact seeds pretty much at the Dollar General, the same exact seeds. They're just under a different name, but it's like the same person that packages them. Uh, so it really doesn't matter where you get those kind of seeds. If you want good seeds, that stuff's going to be hard to find. You should have, you know, stocked up back in the day when you could. I, I, I've been buying and saving seeds for a long time, but it's, it's uh, I, I think it's going to be tough. You're going to have to talk to your friends who are preppers or survivalists or people have stocked up or maybe gardening club or something. A lot of these people have a seed bank and a little seed library like you know I'd be happy to share some seeds if I had to um, not a problem uh, but you're not gonna find a lot out there at the moment I'm concerned because if we can't have food come in from other countries farmers are literally dumping it like I saw this article about how they're dumping just milk because it's going bad and the slaughterhouses can't find the employees don't want to come in anymore and they're stopping the meat run which you know I don't eat meat so doesn't really affect me and whatever but I know that's a major issue to some people um, and it's getting to the point where it's a problem all around where I think if this keeps locking down and getting worse and worse, it's just going to be impossible to find seeds. You can still get them right now, but again, if you're a new gardener, go focus on the plants. Get the plants, and if you've really missed everything and you missed the boat and you're like, what? This is the first time I've heard of this. Um, I have a video about how to get stuff out of the grocery store if there's no seeds available and, and how to grow vegetables from the store and how to pick the right potatoes to grow and how to... You know how to pick the right scraps and uh, stuff you can regrow and grow and go so go look at that video that'll help too but this is a warning out there because i am concerned seeing all these things happen at once if you actually go look at the agricultural site in vermont it says yes seeds are essential but because of the regulations they're doing they're making it very hard to get them in person and they're all sold out online so they basically regulated you out um, this is another sign of things coming. This has been going around the internet of this co-op that is telling people to liquidate their cows and get out of dairy uh, as fast as possible. That's pretty revealing of what's going on there when a co-op sends you a letter like that. Oh, and you know, one other thing that people aren't talking about is a lot of farmers, like, like say like the beets, the sugar beets or something, that's a seasonal thing where a bunch of immigrants will show up to a town and uh and people like who live in rvs or you know people that migrate they'll go work for a month collect this huge harvest and then go move on to another crop and go you know over to i don't know whatever the next crop is corn and they'll go harvest that and then they'll go harvest and they'll go harvest and these migrants go around to different farms and higher uh, and do that but since you're not allowed to be a group anymore and you're not allowed to go out and do that stuff and they've closed the borders to people that don't live in that state. Um, the farmers can't grow food anymore. Because what if you were a farmer and you had to invest like a million dollars putting it out there and knowing that no one's there to pick the fruit or no one's there to go and harvest these vegetables, why would you spend the money and bankrupt yourself? So I don't blame the farmers for doing that. I, uh, I get it. That being said, I think you guys really got to pay attention to what's going on. Go buy food while it's still on the shelves. The it's I know people think I'm crazy and I've heard it, but then all of a sudden when they're seeing these headlines pop up and go to the store and try to find rice. I mean you can even find a bag of twenty pound bag of rice is like gold if you find it. Go buy rice, go buy dried beans, go buy corn, go buy this the, the cheap staples that last forever. Um and if you go 
go to the mom and pop places see if you can still get into your greenhouses and get your vegetables early if you're a new grower you know and you're watching my channel go get your seed potatoes you really need a potato garden uh, we'll also I'm gonna teach you how to grow a couple other things that you know that you'll need that are easy to grow but the number one thing is you got to be focused on potatoes that's the best bang for the buck uh, just stick with me I'm gonna start putting out a lot more videos to help you guys through this and if you have any comments about stuff that I left out reasons the food supply may be breaking down or things you're concerned about with uh, you can't get seeds anymore and how the one time that we should be growing our food the government stops in and is not even letting you buy stuff on the shelf that's sitting there I mean to me that's preposterous I would have never thought I'd see that in my lifetime uh, so take this serious the the signs are everywhere pay attention once this virus blows over they're gonna be like what are we gonna do and there's only so much magic money the government can print to save you the government's not gonna save you you're gonna have to pick it up and, and work for yourself and figure this situation out so take care of yourself and family and start stockpiling and start growing stuff I love you guys hang in there